I've always thought that the aesthetics of rhythms are really neat. I love the fact that we have something in our body that's capable of keeping time, and it can go around and around. Every 24 hours we wake up, every 24 hours we go to sleep. So many things in our body are happening, and it depends on what time of day it is. To me, it's, it almost feels a little bit like science fiction. I think the most important aspect of the work that I do is trying to understand how different cues that are in the environment are integrated by the clocks that are in different tissues. So the brain might be attuned in particular to the light-dark cycle. The liver and the adrenal might be more finely attuned to things like feeding and fasting. What happens in shift work and other types of clock disruptions is that those cues are at odds with each other, and this means that different clocks in the body become uncoupled from one another. What we try to do in the animal models is to model that by housing them in standard light-dark cycles, also give them different kinds of feeding fasting cues so that we can figure out what they look like in these different kinds of conditions. If we can understand how we can manipulate the clock, we might be able to help solve a whole host of different kinds of diseases. When that clock gets disrupted, you can have wide-ranging ripple effects throughout the physiology and behavior of both animals and humans.